Okay, people, I'm just going to look at an alternative way. Um, the method we used this morning there <coughs> was I uh, stepped up the angles, found the different positions for T. So T1, T2, T3, 4. Because you're going to have to do that anyway. You're going to have to find the different positions for T. But I'm going to just look at a different way of finishing it off there now. So I'll just swing that down here for a second and uh, set up a second one there. So uh, a, a bit similar there. I set up the different the different angles, but I moved it along because every time it moves one sixth, the angle goes up. So I set up the angles. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Um, as as it moved along so that's all the positions of s moving along and then what you can do there then is you know that s to t is always that far so i swung arcs from there and or to t is always this far so in the first position so i swung arcs and i found all of the positions for um for t i'm just looking for my protractor so i'm just going to draw these in here now so that is t one so I'm just going to heavy these in so you can see what I'm doing. So I didn't bother going back to the start there now. And this is T2. So there is all the different positions. There's T in position six. <coughs> now I'm just going to show you another easy way of finishing this is if I put a green line, maybe just grab a different color here. Now, now the angle there between T to P, okay, I'll put that in in green. Now that angle is going to stay the same. So I'm just going to set that angle on all of them because the bucket is remaining horizontal so I'm going to just draw that out parallel in all of these and because the bucket stays level it's always P is always going to be that far from T So there is all the locus of P and that's an alternative way of finishing it but and I think another way we could have done it is you know that <coughs> the distance from the center of the wheel to P is always going to be that far. So if I just demonstrate it for the last one there, we know that T1 
no it won't be sorry um sorry i could have i could have found the t positions um using no yeah stop now i quit while i'm ahead um there is other ways that this can be done but there's two anyway so in both of them you gotta find the t position all right though as t moves up and forward and then there's different ways of figuring out the the distance out to p then for the locus so 